I had been doing a lot of healing work already. That was more in the realm of um, like talk therapy. I was doing a lot of reading, even did some workbooks, talking a lot to my friends and my family. Um, I had been in a really unhealthy, um, emotionally and psychologically abusive relationship prior, which uh, led me to a diagnosis of having PTSD. And in that healing process, yeah, I just was feeling like there was something more that I needed. I was still, through all of those different resources, was still feeling really overwhelmed at times and as if I hadn't been making progress. It, there was just such a disconnect between what my brain and my thinking self understood um, or could recognize and then what was happening in my body. I think one of the, the biggest moments that still resonates with me that I like, there are many, but especially in the beginning was I remember us moving at first and it was almost like there was a third person perspective like i could feel myself like as if i as if i were looking at myself if that makes sense and we were trying to move and you were being so you know kind and gracious with our movements and i was just feeling so awkward and i could literally feel like my child teenage self being so self-conscious and so, yeah, I just remember that there was a distancing that happened for me um, of like, wow, I'm, I'm as if I'm looking at myself doing this and imagining and anticipating that judgment. And yet it's OK. And so from that point on, it just got easier and easier as like we continued to go. There were definitely moments of these rough patches. Um, emotionally or just kind of in my body part of why i wanted to do this again was just in moments of overwhelm feeling like i had command over what was going on and that was also a major breakthrough that we had the difference between control and command to be able to observe and see and hold um without kind of gripping and really at all costs trying to gain control and so that that word of command and that understanding and practicing that um has really changed my life i've been able to to really make space um to take care um there's even movements that we would do that again really resonated with me about just like even holding myself or caressing and just being tender and loving and it just really opened my eyes to what I so easily give to others that I was not giving to myself. And so in my romantic relationship, it's gosh, it's been again, just drastically life-changing going, going back to before love, let love in. It was, I logically knew that it often was old stuff that was coming up and it had nothing to do with what was going on in front of me. And yet I couldn't get out of my own way. I've been talking about this process with some of my other friends who have also experienced unhealthy relationships and was talking about the movement and how valuable and invaluable it has been for me. It's part of this larger puzzle. And if anything, it just reinforced again what I felt was already missing and that all of those components fit together. And if you're missing one of them, Right. So no matter what stage of your journey you're at, if you're missing one of them, there's going to be, at least for me, it has felt like they're going to be pieces that just aren't connected or pieces that aren't communicating well. And so and that's given me space to go through the, OK, these are my negative thought patterns, recognizing and naming what they are, breaking them down all well, before I couldn't even access that or I, I was trying to, but I was battling with the, the overwhelm and the emotions and the fear that was stuck in my body. And so they were, instead of working together, they were kind of fighting one another, or at least fighting for space. So, yeah, I think that that's certainly what has has helped make it click <laughs> you know i was in such a space of survival mode that i had this long feeling of like oh i feel kind of numb or i'm just yeah i'm disassociated and so i wasn't able to to feel because i had these walls i had these blocks um and so all of these um the movement has just helped to 
to reopen those blocks or reshape them or remold them. And to me, there's so many different things that kind of come into play. There's so many different intersections, whether it's about perfectionism, whether it's about being a woman of color, whether it's about uh, being a former athlete and just having really high expectations for myself and all, just all of these things that, that come up. But, um, but also I think about you know, breaking generational patterns with my family and having like a whole new kind of vibe. Like literally, it's a vibe. My energy has just completely changed around all of it. So yeah, still processing a lot of things too because it's it has been, um, and it hasn't even been six months yet. So it's kind of, I'm still practicing. I'm still experimenting. I'm still seeing how things are showing up. And it's, is very much working and it's exciting to see how I get to evolve it for myself.